You're watching NBC4, Washington's news leader. Now, live in HD, this is News 4 at 11. Imagine what it might be like to have a headache that won't go away. That's what happens to nearly 28 million Americans with chronic headaches and migraines. But now local, a local doctor has found a new way to cure this condition, and it's helping a teenage girl who had a two-year headache. Just all of a sudden felt like somebody was pushing a knife in my head over and over and over. Ninth grader Blair Rowan was sitting in class when a debilitating headache suddenly set in. The worst pain I've ever been in. She took some pain relievers and tried to sleep it off, but it didn't go away. Her pain lasted for days, which turned into months and then years. As we started going to doctors, all of a sudden they started looking at, all right, let's check your eyes. Sounds, could it be a brain tumor? Blair visited different doctors who tested her for all kinds of different problems, but no one could find a diagnosis, and her pain continued. It was taking a real toll on her life. She was no longer full of smiles and laughter. She had to drop out of sports and was taken out of honors classes. I couldn't do anything else but sleep. Couldn't go anywhere, couldn't drive a car, couldn't, because everything was a distraction. After two years of suffering, doctors told her she'd be forced to live with this pain for the rest of her life. But then she came across a plastic surgeon named Dr. Ivan Duchik at Georgetown University Hospital. He was performing a new kind of surgery that was curing chronic headaches. No other doctor had ever even mentioned it to us before. Instead of relying on CAT scans and MRIs, Dr. Duchik did a physical examination of Blair's head. He found tender areas in the back of her neck that he believed were compressed nerves causing her headache. She had a, a, a pinched nerve in the back of the head and uh, a condition then is being termed as the occipital neuralgia. Dr. Duchik said surgery could decompress those nerves and alleviate her pain. You find the pinching point around and be it either muscle or be it a tight tunnel or vessel and you separate it away from the nerve. Duchik says the surgery has an 80 percent success rate. That was enough to convince Blair and her family she underwent the surgery last spring. We walked into the uh, recovery area and we could see on her face immediately. You know, it was like a light switch. The, the tension was gone in her face. Blair says she felt relief as soon as she came out of the surgery and the pain hasn't returned since. I don't even know how to describe it because it was so, such a never thought this day would come moment. And I just spend all the time with people that I can because got two years to make up for. Great to see that smile on her face. Dr. Duchik says he believes there could be a lot of people suffering from this condition without really realizing it. To be eligible for surgery, patients must have had headaches for at least six months and should be under the care of a specialist. That's wow. fascinating. Fascinating. And yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing after two years of trying to find mm -hmm. a solution to find something that that uh, that works yes so uh, watching that uh, weather carefully this week 